Welcome to Photoshop and today we're going to take a look at the clone stamp tool and more importantly we're going to use the clone source palette window to change and adjust how the clone stamp actually works. The clone stamp is located over here and this is an absolute wonderful tool. A lot of times when you're using the patch tool or anything that uses content aware, it kind of messes up the outside edge. So you need to clean it up or you need to be more accurate. You can use the clone stamp tool because the clone stamp tool just literally clones exactly what you tell it to do. So over here I have the clone source palette that is brought up by going to window and down to clone source and it's gonna bring up that palette. That palette's gonna allow us to change or adjust how the clone stamp works. So the clone stamp works simply by holding the alt or option key. Once you click on the clone stamp, you're gonna hold the alt or option key and you're gonna see you're gonna get that little target there. That's what you wanna clone. So if I wanna clone this front little guy walking, I'm going to hold down that alt option, click with my mouse, and then wherever I move this, it's going to clone that image to that location. Now, the way that clone stamp works though, it doesn't keep cloning the same spot, it moves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up here, I'm gonna go this way and you're gonna see how this works. So remember, I clone this first little spot here, but if I hold this down and paint, it is moving along with me. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. You can see there's a little plus sign and that's showing you the location in which you are cloning from. So as you paint, so does your source area. It moves along with you. So we're gonna hit Command Z and undo that. So that's great, but what happens if I don't wanna clone a line or a source in the same direction? That's where the clone source panel comes into effect. So what I'm gonna do here is go down to the width and I'm gonna flip this. So I'm gonna select it and it's just gonna turn black. It doesn't change the arrow. And now what you're gonna see is when I clone, I need to go the opposite direction, but it's still cloning the same source, but it's flipping the direction in which it's cloning from. So that's gonna allow me to have kind of this motion, this motion. I can also flip my height. So this case, I'm gonna flip the direction and width and the height. Pick a source. And then we're gonna paint along. You can see it's going, it's flipped the width and it's flipped it upside down. So that's allow, these two are allowing us to change the direction in which the clone is going. So we're gonna turn those back on so they're normal. So if I was to come up here and paint this again, it would work just like it would if we traditionally did this. Down here we have something called clipped. So the clipped is actually the source for your clone stamp. So when you make a source, the clipped is actually, the, it actually clips or screenshots the whole picture, but it's just moving it to the new area that you want. I'm just gonna usually leave that off because it's a lot easier. So we're gonna switch over here to this picture of this woman. I'm gonna show you a reason why you might wanna use this clone source palette. So a lot of times when you're doing portraits and you can see it in this image, this eye is a little bit more closed than this one. Now I could go into liquify and probably fix this, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this. A lot of times you might have glasses and you might have a little bit of lens flare over here and you don't have any place to source from so you can actually source from this eye and paint it over in this eye. And this is kind of how you will do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our clone stamp tool. Now if I was to just do this normal, I'm gonna make this big. I'm gonna clone source this. I'm gonna put this eye. Notice this eye is in the exact same direction here. If Remember, if I flip this and then I clone source this, it's actually gonna flip the eye so it matches the direction of this eye. So we're gonna get rid of those two. I'm gonna come up here to my layers and I'm gonna create a new layer. I wanna do this on a new layer in case I need to adjust it or alter it or add a mask. It's gonna make it a whole lot easier the process. You wanna make sure that your sample is on all layers. 
And then I can simply come up here and clone this source. So I'm going to hold all option clone here. And then I'm going to come over to this eye. Now this isn't going to be perfect because you can see this value over here is a little bit darker, but what it did is it cloned this eye over here on this eye. And so if I needed something to be more uniform or somebody had like a really squinty or they blinked or closed that eye, and I need to clone something quickly and easily it gives you the option to flip something and mirror it on one side to another. Another way that this works is let's say we have this cat and you'll notice we can't see this eye over here. We have this kind of cat eye here. Let's say we wanted to see an eye a little bit over here. So once again, we're going to go ahead and click on that source and I'll make this bigger and I'm just going to clone this cat's eye and put it over here. Now the problem is you can see I flipped it horizontally so it, it's matching, but it needs to be rotated a little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually rotate this image. We can come down here and actually rotate. You can see how it's kind of rotating the head back and forth. It's showing you how that's going to rotate and look. So I can come over here and say, okay, to rotate this image, maybe a little bit like this. We'll try five. I really don't know where it needs to be rotated to. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to come over here to this eye and we can see the area. It's a little bit too much. So we're going to just lower that. Come back over. It's a little bit too much. We're going to lower that. Come back over here. Maybe still a little bit too much. We'll go down to about there. Okay, and that's looking good. So what we're going to do then is come over here and try to figure out about where that eye should be. And we're going to just simply paste that in. Now I did a little bit too much and I'll show you how that's going to work. It's going to be okay. What you can do is you can always come in here with a mask. And remember a mask with the color black. We'll take the brush and then we can just kind of that out there where I kind of messed that up. And then I don't want this eye to be so, as strong as that eye because that looks kind of fake and weird. So then we're just going to go to this layer and lower that opacity. And then I can bring it up and just get a little bit of that eye. And you could end up eventually moving this eye and doing some, some other things and, and kind of fixing it. But that's one way in which you can use clone source to change the way the clone stamp works to kind of flip something and move something so it fits the area that you want to put it in. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.